Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. As you probably remember, we're running into some rough times with that toxic fallout. Uh, it's been sticking around for at least a week now. Um, some of the colonists are sort of falling in and out of consciousness. Uh, at least half of our animals are dead. Um, several others have developed certain problems. Uh, dementia, carcinoma. Um, several of them are unconscious or uh, seriously injured in one way or another. The toxic buildup is real. Um, it's a serious problem. Our food stocks have been running a little bit low. Thankfully, a couple of cargo pods were dropped. Uh, we ended up with some meat inside the base, I think, and some corn just outside the base. So we have been able to uh, keep up with that, thankfully. Um, yeah, unfortunately our crops aren't growing very well. So there is that problem. Uh, as you can see here, we only have nine simple meals, only one fine meal available. We do have uh, another colonist. Kiro unfortunately died. Um, I believe that was from the injuries from the siege. Uh, it makes sense. He had to be carried all the way from way over here back to the base. Uh, sadly, they just didn't get mi get there in time. So he bled out and perished. Uh, but Cougar was available to replace him. Uh, she had some problems. She escaped from jail, beat up Talia, and then got taken down by the gun turrets here as she tried to escape. Slowly but surely, we're keeping everybody alive. Um, nobody's in very good health, of course. Uh, Ilya is dead. We purchase him for breeding stock for our huskies there. So our meals are still doing okay. Uh, we are keeping up with them. Not really getting ahead or anything. Yeah, it's lasted eight days now. Almost nine. Um... Once again, it might just be the time of day. It might be uh, my own optimism. But it seems to me like the green is going away. There's kind of a green tint. Yeah, there we go. The worst of the fallout has settled. So we're finally in the clear. For some weird reason, uh, Cougar has decided to take over Kiro's bed without removing his corpse from the bed. It's a little bit creepy. I don't remember her being a psychopath or anything. No, just a night owl. That being said, also I should uh, switch up her sleep schedule. Who was it? Cougar. Right here. She should have the same schedule as Anna. Barrow is hiding in a room for pretty good reason. I mean, 
she's had some problems. We just got through that terrible bunch of toxic fallout. Uh, unfortunately, it takes a long time for the buildup to wear off. Uh, fortunately, though, it does eventually wear off. Let's see, he's at Sirius right now. going to take him, what, a whole day to get down 1%? Yeah, so it is going to take a serious amount of time before that's finally worked out. Um, it's also going to take quite a bit of time before animals start really showing up. Oh man. Barrow has developed dementia. Let's take a look at this. He's got asthma in the peg leg, that we can fix. Her right eye we could fix. Dementia, I don't think we can fix. Oh, when did Fall's leg get shot off? I don't remember that being a thing. Um. I mean... Really, Cristobal's the first one in line for a bionic part. Of course it was the left leg again. That seems to be the only thing any of our colonists lose is their left leg. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to give her the peg leg and Cristobal's gonna end up getting a... Uh, a bionic leg eventually. So let's unforbid that medicine. Uh, I'll see if this medicine even exists anymore. Doesn't look like there's any over here. I was thinking there was one uh, scattered pretty far out, but it looks like it's gone, so um, we won't worry about that. But I'll I kind of do want to try the Glitter World medicine. We don't have much of it, but I kind of want to try it anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get all these operations done. I don't know if I have to harvest lungs before I install new ones, but we're just going to get his lungs replaced. And it, install his leg. We're just going to try to knock it all out at the same time. Get it done and over with. Okay, so Stoll is helping fall out with her operation. See how that goes. He has an excellent uh, medicine skill. And he's using Glitter World Medicine. He's next to a vitals monitor, but he still failed. Failed miserably. Uh, so now she's stabbed, cut up pretty bad, uh, 16 hours to live. It says that she's tending to fall with the Glitter World medicine. That's not what we're going to do here, Cougar. If you're going to uh, tend to her, then... You're going to have to use the other kind of medicine. Man. I can't believe the really terrible quality of work people have been doing on their operations. Uh, so the operation is gone now, I have to re redo all of that. Um, oh, that's the slate tile. Let's unforbid the medicine again. See if we can try that out. Alright, Stoll, don't mess it up this time. Okay, do things properly. It's not that difficult. You're at a hospital bed, you've got vitals monitors available. Okay. Lancelot got food poisoning, but we've got the peg leg installed here. 
Crispel's running around, he's putting off getting operated on, which is probably a good choice. He's opted to help cook meals instead. Looks like the fields are finally getting planted again. Stoll and Clark both are on it. Getting busy. So we should start stocking up a little bit more on meals. We are. Unfortunately, it's just simple meals for right now, for the most part. Um, there are a couple of fine meals being put out, but at least we have some food available. We're still really overstocked on wart, so that's definitely something I'm going to probably look at selling pretty soon. Okay, so Barrow was uh, some kind of mental break there for a while. She was just wandering, hiding in her room. Uh, now she's tired out, going to sleep. Crispel got food poisoning, which is a shame. I'm surprised he's... okay, he is sleeping in this kind of bed. Cougar, you had a really good medical skill? You do, 14. So she ought to be able to successfully operate on Crispel here. Okay, she has installed his left lung. She's installed his right lung successfully. So he no longer has asthma. Way to go, Cougar. She really knocked it out and got it done. Crucible is in tip-top shape now. Excellent work. Oh, I do need to get everybody's weapons back to him. Uh, Stoll's running around next to his, unless it got hauled off already. And it must have. No, that's a turkey, not a minigun. Here it is. Equip the gun. Crispel has a gun. Talia does not have a gun, but she's asleep right now. Anna doesn't fight. Barrow has her gun fall. Does not have a gun. Okay. It's only 12%, so that's no good. 87%. That's likely going to be her weapon. Yeah, for sure. Okay, then we've got Clark. He's at a mental break right now, which is fine. I don't think he has a weapon. He doesn't. So that's just going to be a thing. Uh, Cougar also doesn't have a weapon. Is she... Yeah, she's capable of fighting, but she has no shooting skill. So that's something we have to be aware of. There is an incendiary launcher here that somebody could use. Uh, there's grenades as well. A wild boar was killed by a cobra, which I didn't see getting into our stuff here. Oh, Stoll has a minigun. I'm not going to send him attack. Uh, let's see. NG is carrying a meal. Okay. I need you to come over here and take care of this for me. Hopefully nobody walks in front of her. There we go. Alright, well done. Got that handled. Of course, of all the uh, animals that we need for food and stuff, the one that shows up in our base is a dang cobra trying to kill our animals. Uh, we've got a panther down here we need to take care of. Let me take a look at our animal situation. Okay, the two Labradors are both male, sadly. Uh, we might sell one of them, try to trade them for a female or something like that so that we could have breeding pairs. We don't need more dogs, but I mean we already have some dogs. Uh, sadly our original dog, Neutron? Neutrino? Our original dog is dead. Um, 
But we do have males and females, so we can get more dogs if we want them. Uh, two female turkeys means that we need to have a male in order for them to lay eggs. And we have three bulls, uh, two of whom are going to be slaughtered. And then we'll see if we can buy a cow in the near future. Bull 3 and Bull 2 are going to get slaughtered for meat. Wild Boar 3 is a male, so we need at least one female boar. Let's take a look around here and see what we got. We got a female age 8, female age 5. Let's see about taming those two. Let's go ahead and try to get all of these females. That one's dead, so we'll just... Yeah, why not? Of course, Boomalope show up as well. It's raining, so I probably ought to send Stole down to murder them. Juvenile female. We needed a male turkey to... Uh, breed them out. I might send him after the panther too, I'm not sure. Barrow has a weapon, but she has a terrible shooting skill. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Inji's here as well. Yeah, let's just see if we can get her Barrow in stole. Drafted up to come down here and attack this panther. Between the three of them, hopefully they can get something accomplished. Hopefully also without killing each other. I guess they're a little bit too far away. There we go. Soul takes a long time to start firing. Oh no. Okay, good. Uh, Stole still needs to be drafted and get down here. We have some rare thrombos wandered into town. Barrow got injured. It's possible that she will get an infection, but uh, maybe she'll be okay. Inji's just going to eat something, and then we'll see how she goes. Hopefully this rain continues while we try to take out these boomalope here. Barrel's trying to tame up some of those hogs, which is nice. Try to target the ones in the back so maybe we can hit some accidentally. There we go. We got. Oh wow. Of course they spawn in right here. Holy cow! What in heaven's name? This is madness. Um. So yeah, we have a bunch of Yorkshire Terriers now, apparently. Um, I guess I'm going to stick them into Animal Area 1. I don't know if they can be trained to haul things or not, uh, but if they can, they're going to be needing to do that. If they can't, I'll likely sell them. I don't know if I'm going to try to eat dogs or not. I'll be eating that one, apparently. So 
that was pretty easy. And Stoll has elected to go eat one of these survival meals instead of going home, which makes perfect sense. Oh, it's two thrombos. Wow. That's pretty cool. Anna, of course, is under extreme, extreme break. Uh, this is going to be several, several weeks, I imagine. One and a half at least left. Um, we need to get him Kiro uh, cremated. Maybe after Talia throws this in here, I'll have her go cremate priority. Yeah, there's a lot of bodies right here, but this is the primary one we need to get done. It'll be the last one that she does also because it's a longer walk there than it is to any of these. But hopefully she can get it done today. Um, I expect Anna to end up having a mental break of some kind soon. Thankfully she has a couple of bonuses here. But, uh, yeah, some of these others will expire in a decent amount of time. I'm not sure why she would have disturbed sleep. She must have been, uh, sleeping in the infirmary area or something. Crystal's already up and about again, which is awesome. Um, his finger's still been shot off, so his manipulation is weakened. Uh, his consciousness is weakened from the toxic buildup. Yeah. But his moving is enhanced now because of his bionic leg, so that's good. I think uh, to fix this, if I got um, a power claw and attached it to his left hand, that would um, enhance his manipulation, I think. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. It might just uh, increase his melee damage a little bit. But I think power claws are basically bionic hands. Well, Terrier, I'm glad that you guys joined the colony. You really got to stay in safer areas, to be sure. We do have quite a few wars selected for training, which is good. I think that's going to be beneficial. See a turtle. I don't see any male turkeys around yet. Since it's still raining, I would like to get this other band of boomalope taken out. Yeah, Stoll is asleep right now. When he wakes up in the morning, uh, he'll be ready to help out with that. Got Talia running around without a gun. I really need to get her a weapon of some kind. I don't want her just carrying around explosives and stuff. Is this any good? Yeah, it is good, actually. I might let her have that incendiary launcher. I don't I don't really enjoy using incendiary launchers. Um, they're not typically very accurate, and they don't do a lot of initial damage. The fires are typically more trouble uh, than they're worth. We've got an eclipse going on, which is fine. It'll slow down our crop growth a little bit, but aside from that, it doesn't really affect us. Alright, Stoll's gonna wanna go do some planting, but I'm since it's still raining, this is a perfect time to get rid of these boomalope here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it over with. It gives us a little bit of extra meat in the fridge, so... This guy will end up exploding here pretty soon. 
about two hours. Oh. Wow. Right in the middle of the base. Uh, just a power shortage. Get that fixed pretty easily. And of course, slowly but surely, I'm trying to replace these with granite. We are running pretty low on granite. We've only got 300 uh, blocks left. This is all marble chunks. These down here, I believe, are granite. So I'll just get them marked to be hauled. And uh, we'll see if somebody ever gets around to it. I don't know for sure, but I think the the boars can haul these. I'm pretty sure I've seen them carrying them around sometimes. I'm just, once again, I'm never sure how the animals prioritize uh, carrying things. All right, Barrow successfully tamed one of the boars. Let's train him for obedience. It was a female as well, of course, because all the ones that we marked were female. Uh, this male, male is still a juvenile, so they won't be able to breed until he gets older. But that's fine. At least we've gotten one of our animals replaced there. We're down to the one lone bull. We got the other two slaughtered, so... He's just waiting around for a cow to be bought. I could give her any of these, like this superior Pelia. Uh, there's a normal gun here, SMG. I could give that, who else didn't have a gun? Clark. I'm gonna wake him up right quick just to go and grab that. NG had one, yeah. Clark's skill is decent, very good, yeah. So he should have a decent time using that weapon. We've got Kiro uh, cremated, so nobody's going to be suffering from that. I don't have any bills set up for the chem fuel. We don't have uh, wood in storage, except for this little bit. Uh, there aren't even, honestly, that many trees around that could be cut. I will go ahead and set up those orders, though, so that they can get to it. Let me get a chance. And this chop wood order, of course, only selects the mature trees that are actually fully ready to chop. If I wanted to, I could do cut plants and select all of them, but I just don't think that's necessary right now. I'm pretty sure the toxic fallout stuff even killed off the grass, and that's why all, all this uh, dirt is exposed. There's some rich soil down in this area that's good for growing, but we already have a pretty decent growing area around here. Our terriers are starving for some reason. I guess I don't have uh, enough random fruits and vegetables laying around. They must not eat hay. I'm not sure where I would see their diet. Here it is. Vegetables, meat corpses, seeds, animal products, meals, foods, liquor, kibble. So I was thinking that there was kibble around. Yeah, make, there's 18 kibble around. Right here. So they should not be starving. Um, they should have been able to eat at one time or another. Yeah, animal area one includes that area so they should be able to go in there for some reason they're just not doing it there's some good mesas in here I was thinking though we had okay it's a shoddy it's a plasteel mace, but it's in shoddy condition. Uh, let me see here. I'm not real familiar with melee weapons. It's got 7 damage, 
68 cooldown. This does 9 damage and almost a 4 second cooldown. So actually the Plasteel Mace would be better. I think I'll give that to her. And um... I'll just take her off of hunting for right now. There we go. Clark needs treatment for something? Oh, he's got a carcinoma in his right clavicle. I can pretend to know what that means, but I don't. Oh. For some reason they're putting regular medicine down here. I guess we're out of uh, Glitter World medicine. That's fine. So Clark, tell me about your carcinoma. What does it say? Alright, it still says that it's growing, but it's minor. Excise carcinoma. Or I could remove the entire clavicle. Let's try this. Uh, we have the medicine available, we have the colonists with the skill. Oh wow, destroyed our crops, that's pretty unfortunate. We're caught up on simple meals, but we're not even started on fine meals. We have meat, though, available, so we'll be able to keep up with our simple meals. Oh, what a mess. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Finally, the toxic fallout has subsided. Um, our animal population has skyrocketed with the um, acquisition of our Yorkshire Terrier herd. It stumbled upon the map for some dang reason. I uh, will <laughs> we'll likely be selling them off for sure. But yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, want to make sure and catch the next one, feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to help support my channel for a dollar a month, you can do so through the Patreon logo. And feel free to check out some of my other videos and playlists as well. Thank you very much for any and all time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.